Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets mid afternoon, or should I say end of day uh, analysis now. Okay, be sure to visit www.tradesignal.com um, for your latest signals and market updates from leading providers. Uh, you can download the uh, app via the uh, Google Play and the Apple's App Store. Okay, in terms of uh, understanding this market structure and the uh, direction of this market at present, it certainly is baffling at present, especially from a foot into market analysis perspective and a fundamental perspective as well. This market continues to grind higher with uh, very uh, not much of a catalyst on the fact that you, got, you have a weaker euro now. That is uh, certainly overshadowed by many other concerns. I mean, number one, uh, the one of the concerns would be the weaker economic data that we received. Uh, from uh, last week and also uh, the fact that Miss Yellen is obviously hawkish uh, We've had this uncertainty with regards to this uh, sales tax hike in Japan as well But that certainly seems to be overshadowed by this weaker euro now in terms of economic data this morning uh, In terms of economic data today Really in terms of uh, understanding we've had overall German inflation actually better than expected uh, French GDP better than expected, although consumer spending lower than expected, so certainly negated that bullish activity. And uh, we've had consumer confidence weaker in the Eurozone, services uh, slightly better, but the industrial confidence weaker and business climate slightly better as well. European economic sentiment itself slightly better, uh, but although, like I said, the inflation data out of Germany is certainly stronger than expected, which again does uh, uh, indicate a negative stance, given the fact that the Euro is obviously into support at present now let me just bring up the chart of the euro first and the bond as well if i can bring up the chart the euro usd itself let's just have a look here bringing the daily chart into play you can see that we bounced off that 200 ma the pivot low being 1.1097 so far okay so you can see you've certainly bounced off there now we're looking to potentially break out of this bearish channel and start to move higher now the 200 ma certainly is holding at present we certainly have seem to have had a bounce from there uh, and I'll certainly be utilizing that to, to potentially go long, although I have been stopped out one of my longs today. So again, certainly needs to be uh, observed more carefully. And <clears throat> in terms of the euro, if you do crack below, then you have 1.1070 as support. But for now, you are in this bearish channel, and we are looking to potentially get out on the back of stronger German inflation. Stronger in German inflation means stronger euro. Stronger euro, as we all know, in is it actually bearish for equities. So that's one way of looking at it or interpreting it, okay? Now, the other perspective would be to look at the Asian markets. Now, let me bring up the Asian markets in terms of the close. Uh, the Shanghai and the Hang Seng certainly closed flat, although you had the Nikkei higher by 1.3%. And that's mainly due to the fact that uh, the expectation of this sales tax being delayed. Now, looking at the daily chart at the moment, it certainly has retraced quite impressively. But we are now coming into resistance. If I take the pivot high to the pivot low, you are coming into that Fib 60 uh, 1 to 75% resistance on the Nikkei. Now, whilst we're looking at the Nikkei, we also need to bring up the chart of the Bund. If I just bring up the Euro Bund itself. Now, the Euro Bund is currently indicating support, uh, which indicates obviously strength for the Euro. Strength for the Euro, as we all know, is negative for equities. Now, that's one way of interpreting it. So, that's the important thing looking at it from that perspective. Now, again, is from my understanding and my interpretation, you are looking at risk off for equities, given the fact that the bond is obviously into support. Looking at a four-hour chart of the bond, you can clearly see that we've obviously held that resistance level. It's very looking very unlikely that we can get past that resistance level, which in turn obviously reinforces the idea that the euro USD is a buy, especially with German inflation obviously stronger than expected. As we all know, uh, with German bonds moving higher, the yields move lower, which in turn sends the euro lower. And vice versa, if the German bond moves lower, then that indicates that uh, uh, the, shall we say yes, the, the German bond moves lower, then you're looking at the yields moving higher, which in turn obviously forces the euro higher. If the euro is forced higher, then that obviously indicates that the in, uh, European equities are certainly in trouble, and you are looking at a reversal there as well. So, from my perspective, you certainly seem to have made a wall of resistance on the uh, German bond. And you are now looking to potentially move lower. If we move lower, that sends yields higher. Yields higher obviously indicates that uh, you are looking at higher interest rates. Higher interest rates in the eurozone, as we all know, it doesn't bode well for the economy. Now, especially with German inflation overall net net being stronger, 
uh, and German and French GDP slightly stronger, some business, uh, certain business climate in the EU certainly stronger. It does certainly add to the argument that you are looking at a higher euro. Whilst talking about the euro, let's bring up the, the chart of the US dollar. Now, let's see exactly where the dollar is currently positioned. Let's have a look here. Okay, so here we go, US dollar itself. Now, the US dollar on the daily chart, let's just bring that up first of all. It looks like it does want to go back higher and uh, test this key zone up here, uh, the actual US dollar index itself. And again, that certainly is some food for thought. Okay, now we have had a thrust higher since this morning on the dollar index, and you are now looking for a potential pullback, and therefore you will be looking for some strength in the uh, Euro, Kiwi, and Aussie on the uh, versus the actual uh, dollar index. So again, that's certainly you need to keep uh, something that you need to keep an eye out for. A stronger dollar will keep the actual uh, FTSE and the S&P 500 at bay as well. So again, those are two uh, indices that you, you, I personally would be bearish on. In terms of the European indices, then you need to certainly start indicating or uh, certainly extreme caution there from my pers pers perspective. Okay, so again, especially with Ms. Yellen being hawkish as well, that's net-net. Got with regards to interest rate hikes going down the road, is net and negative for equities. So again, that's certainly something that will weigh on the markets as well. Okay, now in terms of the uh, actual equity market themselves, let's see exactly where the FTSE, the S, Europe, uh, European indices are positioned. Okay, bringing up the chart, the euro stocks, you are now coming into horizontal resistance into that FIB 75% resistance. Yes, I am aware there is a gap at 3120 that needs to close, but given the fact that the euro itself is holding that uh, 200 MA, it's looking very unlikely from my understanding, okay? Unless we have some real fundamental catalyst that helps us propel higher. The 60 minute chart, at the moment you are in this bullish channel looking for a breakout given the unfilled gap below. We certainly have had an impressive thrust from the uh, 2900 level up to uh, 3090, so that's quite a, an impressive rally. I mean, it's a 190 to 200 point rally, so very, very impressive uh, from my perspective. But again, looking for weakness now, looking for this uh, uh, rising channel to certainly break down okay looking for a key break here now let me just uh, draw my trend line see if I can draw a trend line better here for you okay folks so again you're in that bullish channel and you're testing that upper range okay on the uh, 10 minute chart of the uh, the euro stocks now we do have uh, f from this market certainly seems to have uh, this morning, I mean, certainly seems to have closed a gap, and then the market certainly seems to have taken off higher. Now, again, this is a key resistance zone uh, on the daily chart itself. Weekly chart, you can see the diagonal trend line as well. Well, the daily chart certainly is crucial with the Feb 75% resistance. Okay. Now, in terms of cross verifying that with the Europe 350, let me just bring that up for you. Bear with me. So you have the Europe 350 again approaching the 200 MA into resistance as well, which again confirms a weakness on the Euro stocks. Let's bring up the chart of the Euro 600. Let's just bring that up. Stock 600, should I say. And the weekly chart certainly is pushing higher. Certainly impressive on the weekly. The daily chart is into its 200 MA and horizontal resistance, which again indicates the potential reversals on the cards. Okay, so looking for weakness in Europe. Okay, now let's bring up the chart of the German DAX because the DAX is the leader. Now bringing up our daily chart, the DAX, you are, you're, you were into that FIB 75% resistance looking for a reversal. The 60 minute chart at the moment is in this rising channel. We've certainly closed the gap now at 10.325. So, certainly no real gap to be closed unless the next one is at 10.430. But again, looks very unlikely. The 10 minute chart, the German DAX, you can see that we certainly are exhausting now. Looking for a another potential reversal going into this close in the next four minutes. So, again, German DAX with so net net overall looking like it wants to reverse. CAC 40 it appears to 200 MA into that FIB 75% resistance and therefore looking to reverse. 60 minute chart, again, you do have this unfilled gap above at 10, uh, 4555. Again, it's very unlikely for it to be filled, okay, from my understanding. Looking at a 10 minute chart, the French CAC at the moment, yes, you certainly are moving higher on the fact that you have lighter volume and the market certainly seems to be having a stupid flow higher, but again, how long will that last? That's not exactly a trading strategy from my understanding and my perspective. So my bias certainly remains weak. Looking at the FTSE 100, let's see exactly where this is positioned now. Uh, the FTSE itself, looking at the daily chart. Okie dokie, so looking at the daily chart, you have the date of 30th of May. You've got uh, horizontal resistance of previous support equals resistance at 6270. If we do go higher, then you have 6310 as key resistance. Okay, 
60 minute chart the FTSE itself again you have that resistance zone at 6280 very unlikely for the markets to pace through there given the weakness in August or say strength in the US dollar 10 minute chart again 6280 zone is a one to watch very unlikely that we open above and gap higher it's very very unlikely unless oil prices really start to considerably increase which again looks very unlikely okay I think that's a market wrap in terms of the European indices uh, be sure to uh, visit tradesingler.com and download the latest app. Goodbye.